So how have you been? I've been pretty good. I have a full-time job now. And um, I live in an apartment with a couple of friends, so... And I come here every Sunday. Hmm. I didn't think this was your usual choice of hangout. So how have you been? Great. Um, taking on more responsibilities for Dad. Uh, playing the organ. Teaching Sunday school for the kids. Things have been good. It's good. Well, I'm here to talk about what happened at Christmas. Alright, fine. I get it. It's a lot to take in and I understand that you don't have many experience with gay people, even though Uncle Robert has been single for six years for no reason at all. Jacob. It's an adjustment. That said, you should have adjusted by now. You're supposed to love me no matter what. That's what family does, or at least that's what they should do. Jacob, I love you with all my heart. But with everything that's going on with you right now, look, I'm scared for you. This is an abomination. It's an eternity in hell. Oh, so you flew 3,000 kilometers to tell me that I was going to hell. I thought you were here to apologize for mum and dad and what happened at Christmas. I can't apologize. I don't know what happened or where we went wrong. Where you went wrong? Look, Leviticus, thou shalt not lie with a man as thou lies with a woman, don't, for it is an abomination. Don't quote the Bible at me, Eliza. The outcry of Sodom and Gomorrah is a horror. And what you're doing exceeds it. Jesus, a new commandment that I give unto you, that you love one another. Romans, but we know that the Lord... Jesus, for he who is without sin among you, throw the first stone. So you admit that it's a sin. Blessed are the merciful, for thou shalt obtain mercy. Jesus, blessed are the pure in heart, for thou shalt see God. Jesus, blessed are those who have been persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Jesus would be ashamed of you for judging me. He would be ashamed of you for turning your back on me. You, you should be ashamed. 